All right, now we're ready to spice things up with a couple ornamentation techniques. These are both finger techniques. Of course, the breath is incorporated as well. That's the one thing I like about the flute is it involves your whole body, really. You're thinking, you're feeling, you're breathing, you're touching, you're doing a lot of things that are integrating the musical experience. And of course, we know those types of experiences are important to brain development and brain health, and I think overall uh, well-being and health, especially as we get older and we might lose some fine motor skills. Uh, playing the flute and breathing deeply is a great way to stay connected and stay in shape and stay fit. So let's look at two techniques. Uh, there are many ornamentation techniques um, and I do have a program called Flute Mastery. It's a DVD you can get on Amazon um, that's got a lot more than these, but here are a couple to get you started. The first one I'm going to show you is called the Grace Note. And the grace note is not only a very gracious note, it's, <laughs> it's played by uh, removing your finger or placing your finger very quickly uh, so that you create a short note that, is, that precedes the main note. So if my main note is the open sound of the flute, I could play a grace note with one finger down, the one finger down note becomes the grace note, and then I'm going to quickly lift my finger. And that sounds like this. And you've heard this in music. You hear people do this all the time. You can also reverse it and you can play the note above down to the main note. And that would be the main note would be my one finger down. The grace note note would be open. So that sounds like this. So it's a very short note that precedes the main note. So here's what some grace notes would sound like incorporated into flute play. to show you another technique called the slide or the bend. A slide or bend is when we move from one note to another note, but we do it gradually. And we bend up or bend down to that note. And here's what that sounds like. It's a little bit dreamy, sounds a little woozy. Uh, but in flute play, it can be really beautiful and very expressive. So there's a few ways you can do that. You can create this sound. One is to slide your finger, slide your finger away from the note and slide it back over. You can roll your finger on and off of the note. And you can lift and place your finger uh, back on the note. I find the rolling or sliding is a little bit easier, but again, experiment, do whatever feels right for you. It's all about getting the effect that you want to have. Here's what bends and slides would sound like incorporated into flute play. Okay, that's a little example. Experiment with those grace notes and bends or slides and have fun and just be expressive and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. If you're a novice or experienced flute player, consider joining us at Flute Harvest Native Flute Retreat. Find out more at fluteharvest.com.